I should stay strong. But I'm weak. Hi guys, it's Arthur here, and in today's video, I'll show you guys how to make that amazing build up slash kill effect. This tutorial may be a little bit shorter because we will mostly use presets again and use a one overlay, but it's still some adjustment you will have to do, like change the color of the tornado. The only points you will have to have for this tutorial is the soft points, I will link them down in the description. I actually did my face reveal yesterday on the stream, but if you missed that stream, basically here's my face, and it will be the whole video. Yeah, enough talking, let's get right into the tutorial. The first step we're gonna do is actually to time map the clip, but we're gonna time map it in a little special way, but it's really easy, just follow along. Right click on the clip, press return car, zoom in a bit until you can see this arrow in the corner, press on that arrow and make sure that's the only thing that's checked is the return speed. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna use your arrow keys on your keyboard and find the fast frame. You can see a little bit of the numbers. So for me it's right here, you see a little bit of the numbers. What you do now is you're gonna press on the line and press on this like dot up here. Make sure that you press on the line before you do this. When you've done that, you're gonna go to the fast frame you can see the shotgun when it pulls out. So for me it's uh, right here, he makes the edit and we can see the shotgun. But from here, so from the fast frame we see, we're gonna go 8 frames to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 right here. Press on this keyframe thing up here again. And what you're gonna do now, you're gonna go about in the middle of these two keyframes and add another keyframe like this. And what you're gonna do now, this first part in between these two first keyframes, you're gonna drag down to 40% so about here. You don't need to be exact, but you see it's 40%. Just drag up to 300 so max, and it should look something like this. It's not synced yet, but we're gonna sync it up soon. Then you can just add a slow, add a key from anywhere to the right, and just drag it down to 50%. That will basically just create a slow, and it will look like this. It's still not synced, but now we're gonna sync it up. We can close out by just pressing the symbol right here, and it will close out. What you can do now, you're gonna again define the shot of impact, so the first one we see a little bit of the numbers, so... Right here, press M on your keyboard, that will put down the marker. Then you go to music, mark the beat in the music you want to go to happen on. I already done that by just pressing music, I press M on your keyboard again, then turn on this magnet tool, and it should be really easy for you to just slip it in, so these two markers are in a straight line together. And now it should be synced and looked like this. It looks pretty good in my opinion already, but what we're gonna do now, you're gonna go down to the description and in a Google Drive folder you should find a magic boot look preset. Basically download that preset and we'll show you guys how to import it to DaVinci Resolve right now. Just go to Windows search up and search up percentage local app data percentage like this, open up the folder. This should pop up, then you need to find looks builder right here, press on looks press on custom and basically just drag it and drop it inside of here. Then you can basically close out of this and you don't even need to restart the winter soul. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna go to FX up here and what you're gonna do now, you're gonna press on the clip, press Ctrl R so we can see where the slow mo starts. So the slow mo starts, the first one we can see a little bit of these like yellow things. So basically the first one we can see that. And what you do now, you're gonna again go to the shot of impact, so the first one we can see a little bit of the numbers. And from here, you're gonna go 50 frames to the left. So, 50. And what you're gonna do now, you're gonna just quickly press M on your keyboard so the markers puts down up here, so we know that that is. And what you're gonna do now, you're gonna drag in the adjustment clip and make it so it starts on that frame. We just put it down the marker, so 50 frames to the left from the shot of impact. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna zoom out a bit and make it the adjustment clip shorter so it ends right on the shot of impact. So where we put the marker, so we are the first frame. So the first frame, we see the numbers up here. What we're gonna do now, you're gonna go to open effects, search up looks and we just drag and drop it on this go to effects go to edit look down here in your custom you should find a brand new look called epic every powerful tornado tutorial basically just double click on that but i have it in my tutorial effects but for you it should be there just press on it double click on it and this should pop up it looks pretty clean in my opinion Bit when you done that just press on this check mark and it will appear like this if it doesn't appear then you just Make sure that you have no keyframes made, so if you have just untick it, and if it still doesn't show, just drag the frames to zero, and then to 100 again, and it should appear. What you're gonna know, you're gonna go where the adjustment clip starts, so right here, and if you have your cross cursor over the adjustment clip, you should see like a rectangle thingy, thingy in the corner, 
basically at the end and from here you're gonna go 13 frames to the right 13 right here and if you have your cursor over the adjustment clip you should see a rectangular thingy in the corner basically take the one to the left and drag it and make it to the end on your cursor to make it like the list just right click on the clip and make it render cache color bit and it should look like this It looks pretty clean in my opinion, but now we're gonna add the overview real quick and it's really easy, I promise. Basically, just go to the single drive folder as last time and download overlay and basically just drag it in. It should just, should be called Tornado. I will show you guys how to adjust it a little bit and change the color if you want. So, go to the Fusion tab on it just to make it transparent. Press on media and press Delta here. If it doesn't appear right away or right here, just do it many times and it should appear. Then you drag the, ref the reference and make it just black, press K, and it should become transparent. We should be able to see it through. What we're gonna do now, we are gonna make it so it starts where the adjustment clip starts right there and ends on the shot of impact. So basically just drag it short and make it so it ends right there. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna basically adjust it real quick, the size a bit, and basically just make it so it is on the character. So some for This is just a tutorial, so you don't need to be exact, but this looks pretty cool. Maybe adjust the size. But you can always adjust this later. But what you're gonna know, if you watch the adjustment, we see like a dark triangle like this. Basically what we're gonna do, you're gonna again press on the tornado overlay and you should see this rectangle field and make it just so it goes as long as this rectangle. So it's, you can't really see it, but it's a dark triangle here, as you see guys. And it will basically fade in pretty cool. It fades in a really cool way, I think. But now I'll show you guys real quick how to change the color on the tonight or overlay if you want. You just go to open effects and search up S on this and it's got three tone. Right and drop it in that. It will turn black and white. Go to effects and basically the color one adjust it to whatever you want. You can drag it to the side and just play around. Like maybe you want it to be purple, maybe you want it to be yeah, stay as. If you just want to take it back, just disable the effect and it will become orange again but yeah that's basically it for today's tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial please consider dropping a like dropping a sub and yeah comment tutorial ideas yeah see you guys in the next video